had a I had a whole conversation um, a minute ago with my trainee slash co-driver partner uh, student here at Prime. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a minute over a little bit over two years. Well, over two years, soon to be three years at Prime training, and me myself, I went through it. Yeah, through the system, and we had a conversation about uh, whether he should choose company or lease and it was really uh, uh, interesting because um, I, I asked myself the, damn, the, the same damn question when I first started here at Prime yep I came here under the under the uh, uh, the training system where I did 50,000 miles and then uh, I had to choose whether to be a company driver and or a, um, a lease operator yep and yep if you want to hear my take uh, my point of view about it and what I advised him to do uh, yeah pull a chair sit back and get ready with your question in, uh, in in the comments but before we start I will ask you to to subscribe at least like like this video or like I said earlier comment your opinion your point of view or your take your take about it what will you do if you, you were uh, to start as fresh in a company as a truck driver will you go company or will you just or will you go straight ahead and be a uh, business owner a lease operator if you were to be offered that that option what I personally did after my training boom straight up I went to lease this truck and I will tell you why but my um, trainee my Co my my, my co-pilot train, trainee uh, student he has a a fiance uh, the mother of his daughter um, and he's super young I would say I, I believe less than 25 he, yeah he's probably less less than 25 and uh, he's in an he's in, in an apartment so he's fairly new in that situation where you get to discover what life, what life is what the responsibilities are and all that crap and he's brand new in the uh, in the trucking business so um so i pretty much laid out the good the bad between the the, the two as far as company driver uh, uh, like most of us know uh, know already you don't get to pay i, I don't, I don't want to curse out here but you don't get to pay nothing all right as far as truck payment uh fuel expenses all you do, you get an assignment from, 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 point, from, from point A to point B, you deliver, you get paid, and so on and so on and so on. When time for you come to go home for, 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 your, for your family time or your, your vacation, you go home. But as far as a lease operator, you're a business owner, you get to pay for everything. Everything. Fuel, truck payment, uh, maintenance, um, everything your own taxes uh you you have you have to manage a business uh knowing that things can arise um you have to manage your time uh your, your, your time knowing that if you go home for too long or like you have to manage so many things but which is still doable you just have to be a good manager uh, like i mean you you have to be uh severe i don't say severe but you have to be tight with yourself like you have to be really um Organized, that's the word I was looking for. Really organized with yourself, with paperwork, with proof, with uh, expenses, um, receipt, and all that, and have somebody that does your taxes again. Yeah, Prime does have uh, Abacus um, CPA that do, that can help you, but if you have somebody uh, on your own that can help you and follow up with every single thing, that's a video for another day that would be really beneficial for you. To manage your business but yes it's really demanding and you have to be really somebody that put priorities on a business and not just on a job okay uh, being a lease operator is a whole business than than being a, a, a company driver just just a driver which is again just following orders not just thinking about it the prime will think for you and they will just tell you what to do I mean the whole way the whole yard nine yard and they, they will 
uh, take you through, 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 through all the steps. So yes, I and then personally, well, I first started here as like I said, as, as a lease operator. And if I was, if I was to start all over again, I would start company. Yeah, I would start as a company driver for about three to six months, just to know the route out here, just to see, uh, like just just to, to just to drive, okay, just to drive, focusing on the driving. Not to think about business, not to think about because when you jump onto the lease side, yes, lease pays more, but it can take your mind away that quick. All right, and right now, 2023, the business is not that booming and it's gonna take a minute, so it's not really recommended to go lease as a uh, first as, as a as a first move. Again, you can always move from company, you jump into lease, and then from lease jump into the company side all right as a, I, 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 as a freshman um that just finished at the academy at the at prime trucking academy you get to do one year with them uh, to, to run your contract and uh, to pay back your, your dues so that yeah so that, that that was my take with him and what i advise him to do was hey depending on your family demands depend depending on how much you can take from dispatch depending on how much you can give out here or on how long you can take uh, as, as, as a family time um, again, he, he's, he's been with me for 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 now we're going two months probably two months and a half and he's he has seen what I go through how I handle dispatch how I handle the loads what I do out here which is not just driving okay it's not just driving it's a lot it's a lot and if you don't have a backbone uh that will handle business for you at home yes it's really demanding to be to, to to do business at home which is family and also handle business on the road mentally mentally men, mentally is really demanding so you have to be ready for for the challenge challenge at home challenge at work challenge with the business challenge with life which is trucking on its own it's a lifestyle and uh as a lease operator it's a double 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 lifestyle yeah, I did a video about lease to own or lease or is or a simple lease. Yeah, and then um, my take on that was again depending on if you're gonna run so so many so much miles on it or you're just gonna uh, or you gonna be solo. That video I did I I did I, I, I did that already. Go and check uh, my take on that. But this on this video it was pretty much about <clears throat> should you go company or. Um, you want to go lease? What do you take? What, what, what do you think? What did you do? What, what was your first move? Will you ever consider being a company driver? Have you ever? Or are you a company driver right now? Is it working for you? Uh, uh, you are you a, a lease operator right now? Or you, yeah, do you own? What is the difference for you? Or what do you prefer? What will you? But what will you advise me to do right now after being being in it so long, like three years and and, and counting? Yep. That's the video I wanted to do, and if you if if you stayed here this long, I want to thank you so much. And um, on, on on the next video, I wanna I wanna talk about Prime being worded as a truck as a trucking as a truck as a truck to trucking company or um, trucking business as a whole being worded in 2023. Yes, let's talk about that uh, that 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 video, and we're gonna throw here and there. Um, uh, those 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 those, those, those subjects about PC personal conveyance and the inward outward facing camera. Yes, I have those videos coming up that I'm gonna share my opinion. It's been going around. I see YouTubers talking about it and being uncomfortable, dry, like ranting. Yes, I'm gonna take. My, I'm gonna give my take on that. I'm gonna give my point of view on those subjects. Is the trucking business worth it? in 2023 is prime being at prime is it even worth it is it um a good idea for you to jump into this business in 2023 yep until next time thank you for watching subscribe like uh the video you know the whole gist if you have any comment don't forget to drop it underneath uh, whenever i see a question we're gonna make sure to answer it or to do a whole video about it hey thank you for watching and i really appreciate all your support. Uh, see you next time.